Okay, so first thing I'll talk about is muscle spindles. So what do muscle spindles do? lack of a better word, it lets them know what's happening. It's the stimulator. Yeah. So it's a nerve, a, a type of nerve that is basically constantly measuring, right, the length of muscle fiber, right? So, so it's measuring length and speed of stretch. Okay. So basically, these um, muscle spindles are kind of wrapped around each muscle fiber, and they're, they're kind of constantly measuring how long the muscle is and how fast it's lengthening, lengthening and shortening. Does that make sense? Okay, mm -hmm. and the idea behind this is that under normal circumstances, like our muscles lengthen and shorten all of the time when we use them, but if they're lengthened at a really high speed or they're le over lengthened to prevent injury we have a reflex okay and so with the muscle spindles what happens is that if the muscle is being lengthened at a really fast rate um, it'll cause the muscle to then contract to bring it back to uh, normal length basically uh, classic example that I always think of is um, the the muscles on the back of your neck. Have you guys ever like started to nod off to sleep? What what usually happens? Your head bobs up, right? Um, that's because the muscles on the back of your neck, right? They're lengthening really fast when your head all of a sudden drops, right? And so the reaction is to contract, which causes um, extension of the neck, right? And so <clears throat> that's an example. Another one is like when the doctor like hits your patellar tendon and it causes it to jerk like that. Mm -hmm. The reason that little hammer has like a really small point is that at that very point, you know, in the tendon, it's causing it to like relatively lengthen really fast, right? It's like a little thing that's like, like mm -hmm. kind of, and so that causes contraction of your quadricep and causes the knee to mm -hmm. reflex like that. And so that's a kind of a diagnostic tool to determine where, if there is some type of neurological problem, right? Okay, um, so muscle spindles, length and speed. Are we good on that or? Okay, all right, another thing is the um, Golgi tendon organ. What is the Similar type of thing, what's the Golgi tendon organ measure? Mm. <laughs> Any guesses? <laughs> It's got to do with weight and muscle strain, doesn't it? Yeah. Or something like that? Yeah. Because I know there was an example used for like weightlifters. Yep. How their muscles will just give out because it's mm -hmm. just too much. Yeah. So the idea behind the Golgi tendon organ is to prevent injury. Because uh, basically your muscles are, they're capable of producing enough force to like rip off of the bone basically. Um, yeah, they're capable of generating that force, but that would be not ideal, right? Mm -hmm. And so what the Golgi tendon organ is it measures tension. This is a, a key word. It measures tension, right? Because if the tension on that muscle gets too high, like it's about to rip off, it'll cause a inhibitory effect on that muscle and cause it to relax, right? Yeah, so like a weightlifter, let's say they're like lifting a barbell or whatever, and it's like too much, it's about to like rip their bicep, It'll the Golgi tendon organ will cause that muscle to just relax and so drop the weight. Upset, yeah, okay. yeah. So it prevents muscle detachment basically from bone. But can't you like override it? 
Yeah, it does happen. Around, yeah, it does happen. It's really difficult, though. <laughs> um, an example would be like, um, in sub, because there's other things that influence muscle contraction, like different hormones and stuff. Um, people who are in like death situations and need to lift a car or something like that. Um, like their muscles are capable of doing that. But what you often don't hear though is like after that person may like die or something or be very injured. Like I heard this story, it was in like Germany, sold grandma that lifted like this ox cart thing, but she like broke her back and like muscle and broke bones basically because she had so much force production. Mm -hmm. And so it's really difficult to override Golgi tendon organ, but it is possible. Mm -hmm. It's also another thing involved with um, athletics because um, if you're relaxing muscle you're reducing force production and so I don't know if you ever heard that like static stretching is bad like like before an event if you just sit there and just stretch you're creating a lot of tension mm -hmm. and so it's causing that muscle to relax a lot more but when you over relax the muscle then you decrease force production so for the next like hour half hour you're actually not able to like run as fast or jump as high, okay. basically. That's why you warm up before you do. Yeah, mm. yeah, because you want to, because the muscle, the ideal situation for force reduction with muscle is a slight stretch. Because um, if they're too tight, the actinomyosin cross bridging isn't optimal. If they're too spread apart, it's not optimal. Mm -hmm. So you want it to be like right in the middle. And also heat production is good. So they recommend like ballistic stretching or sports like stretching. Anyways. Mm -hmm. That's my major's exercise physiology, yeah. so that's what I'm all about. So, anyways, crap, I forgot to write the time. It was 3:18. 3:18. <laughs> really? Yeah. I sweet. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Way to be there, cat. <laughs> yeah, sweet. Okay, so um, those are those reflexes. So muscle spindles react by contracting, right? Mm -hmm. Re c contracting that um, agonist muscle, and then Golgi tendon organ relaxes it basically but they're both involved in basically um, um, prevention of injury that's more so Golgi tendon organ muscle spindles it's kind of involved a lot of different things like posture and stuff like that like if you like slip back here like your abs will contract so that you can regain your balance and stuff like that it's like proprioception and things like that but also I guess injury prevention as well so those are those ones. So now we also have like withdrawal reflexes, right? 